Yeah, so now let's look at an example where we use the fundamental theorem, which is a little more uh, complicated than the last one we looked at. So, in this example, we look at the function big F of x equals integral from 0 to x squared, limit of t to the fourth plus 1. Yeah. So you see, in this case, we don't have just x in the bounds for the integral, we have some expression involving x, in this case x squared. And so how do we go about differentiating this function? Well, we can start off by, say, defining function g of x as the integral 0 to x. Notice that we have a relationship between g and f. We have f of x is g of x squared. Right? Clearly, if we replace the x here, the argument for g, with an x squared, right, then we'll get big F of x. So, this expression now gives us a way to calculate the derivative of f. We have to use the chain rule because we have a composite function here. So we should have, according to the chain rule, the derivative of big F equals the derivative of G of X squared times the derivative of X squared. And that's just the chain rule. Okay. So we know that the derivative of G is a little of x to the fourth. Right. Now we're taking g prime of x squared, not just x. So it would be x squared to the fourth plus one. And the derivative of x squared is just 2x. So what we end up with is lim x to the eighth plus one times 2x. Yeah. And there's of course no reason why the fact that we have an x squared here was in any way special. Right? We could have had any differentiable function of x here in the bound for the integral. Right? Then we would just have had g prime of that expression times its derivative. Yeah. So this is sort of a, a more general a result. Right? This example indicates how we can differentiate functions where we have an expression of x in the integral instead of just x.